Hey guys, Bushcraft Family back again with another video. This time I am going to be making monkey butter. Yes, it, it doesn't include any monkeys, but it does include bananas. And just like kind of like apple butter, but we're using bananas in, in that kind of sense. Um, and I'm also going to be canning these, so we'll see how everything turns out. Uh, the first thing that we need to do and I'm kind of standing over here to the side because I have really bad lighting in this room. So, yeah. We're we are going to cut open our bananas. We need four bananas for this recipe. Um, you can add more or less depending on what you do. It makes about uh, six, six half pints. So, and we're just going to roughly chop these up like so. add them to our pot over here and we're going to continue to do this open up our bananas chop them up like so they don't have to be perfectly chopped or anything like that because they're going to get all turned into mush anyway Add them to the pot, like so. And again, guys, I'm sorry about the lighting, but eh, I'm not one of those fancy places that has a bunch of lights hanging around and fancy, fancy cameras and all that. I'm just using my cell phone, and it's kind of being hung up over my cabinet. So, yeah, fun stuff. I don't want to hear anybody talking about my chopping skills because I'm not even trying. I'm just making them smaller, smaller bits. And while you're doing, while you're doing all the chopping and stuff, you can have your 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 canner, your water bath canner, heating up, ready to go. Oops. Don't worry. I got it. Everything's clean. Except for my hands. My hands are dirty. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Calm down. Oh, we got a bad spot in there. We'll just cut that out. There we go. There we go. Oops, I almost lost some bananas. And there you go. We have four bananas in there. We'll get a napkin here. The next object that we need to add in here is a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. Juice and all. Make sure you add the juice in there. And then we're going to have a quarter cup of coconut. Dried coconut drop that in there we also are going to add the sweet stuff yep three cups of white sugar granulated sugar whatever you want to call it and we are going to mix that up once we get this mixed up looking good isn't it let me try to get out of the light here so you can see and, and, the, and this is not on right now. We're just mixing up at this moment. Because we got one more ingredient to add in here before we get started. And I think that's pretty well mixed up in there. Make sure the sugar is all dissolved into that, into that pineapple. Okay, the next thing you're going to add is three tablespoons of lemon juice. I don't have fresh lemons hanging around so I'm using 100% lemon juice. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and turn this on. A nice uh, medium, medium high depending on your 
what you're cooking with and we're going to cook this for 15 minutes and we'll be right back as soon as this gets done hang tight okay guys as you can tell this is getting a, a bit more steamy yes and you want to make sure you continue to stir this because there is a lot of sweet stuff in here and you don't want that stuff sticking to the bottom of your pan now when you're about you got your your 15 minutes in there pretty much getting it's starting to thicken up really good now it's time for the noisy part let's come over here and get this little doohickey here emulsifier or whatever you want to call these things and it's gonna be noisy yep so we'll, we'll put some fancy music in here or something I know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way I guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away but I've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away Remember, what you're looking for is an applesauce type consistency. Now, there's one more step we want to do. Here's the last step right here. You want to add it in another quarter cup. So, remember, you put a quarter cup at the beginning of this, and it, it got emulsified. I don't know if that's a word or anything, but we're using it. And then we're going to add another quarter cup. It just adds a little bit more texture in there. You can get that really mixed up in here. Uh, if you need to cook it a little bit more to get it nice and thick, that'll work. But if not, we're about ready for the next step, aren't we? Continue stirring it like so. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice nice applesauce consistency right there. Okay, guys, the next step what we're going to do is we're going to fill our jars. Now, before we get started with this, you should already have your jars in your your canner, your water bather, because they should already be getting warmed up because you want your jar, jars hot just like the stuff that's going in them. Now, if this stuff was cold, it's okay to use cold cold jars, but hot ingredients, hot jars. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. And all all your utensils, make sure you sterilize it in the warm water. See, I, I sterilized the rings, uh, the lids, even my little magnet, little wand thing here. So let's go ahead and get a jar out. Try not to burn ourselves and it is a bubbling away it's ready to go Pop that out Put it over here and you see our little jar right there I even have my little funnel it's all sterilized that way nothing that is unsterilized touches the stuff that goes in there and you're going to want to leave about a quarter inch right up to the rim and then the next thing we want to do is like always before before we put that lid on there we want to use our rim juice and we got our rim juice setting over here ready to go those who don't know rim juice is vinegar white vinegar you want to wipe that off really good not to touch it with your hands or anything then you're going to take your your, your little magic wand thing here and you're going to take your lid out of here place it up on there touch you're allowed to touch the top of it that's it and you're going to place your your rings around there and finger tight finger tight you don't want to over tighten that thing 
we got one jar done and we're going to move along here let's go ahead and get another jar out see if we can find one in there there's one that's calling our name there we go and we'll show you how to do this again place the funnel in there make sure we mix this up good again dump it right down in that remember leave quarter head space right there jiggle that off a little bit place that down over there and rinse and repeat do the same thing get some of our rim juice here Woo! it's a hot jar there we go go ahead and flip that over get our lid place it on the top of there oh yeah just just like magic get another rim over here tighten that down finger tight finger tight we'll be right back once we get these done okay guys so hopefully you can see this without the, the smoke and everything I'm gonna try to see him back a little bit so you can see but we're gonna go ahead and add our jars now and you can tell I have my rack is already up and we're gonna place them in there in the little holders there whoops and it fell oh well let's go ahead and just add them there there we go and these little bitty small jars are kind of hard to put in these little racks here so hopefully we can get them all in here I'll slide that over there There we go, and we just got enough water to go off top of that and leave the remaining water that we had in here. And we'll dump that in there because you want about two inches over, over your lids. Go ahead and close that. And also, I like to drop my excess vinegar in there. It helps the process. So once that gets to, to go into a, a good full boil, it'll be 15 minutes, and we will be back. Okay, guys, as you can see, it is quite cloudy, and it is starting to cool down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and try to grab a couple of these out. Now, to, to do this, Yes, there is water on top of that lid. Leave it alone. Just gently bring it over to your towel and let it sit there. You don't want to be turning your your jars over. It, it's okay if like it's like an accident, they fall down or something. You ain't, you don't have much choice in the matter, but you want to keep them upright all the way to the towel. Once they're there, you want to leave these guys alone for 24 hours. No touchy. No touchy the jars. You may think, ooh, this. And, and you may hear popping already. Like I just, oh, there goes another one. That's always a good sign. Still, no touchy. And as you can see, um, we got seven jars out of this. Half pint jars. So that is always good. Uh, it, it all depends on your bananas, how big your bananas are and stuff. And like I said, with the coconut, you add in at the, at the end. You may want to add a little bit more coconut or a little bit less depending how thick your monkey butter is and here is the last jar bring this over here 
And I want to tell you guys, this old water bather, water bath or canner, whatever you want to call it, had a big old hole in it. <laughs> Not too long ago. And I fixed it with JB Weld. <laughs> so I was able to make this video. But there you have it, guys. You can hear them. They're popping over there. Kind of see them over there a little bit. Um, I'll put the, the all the ingredients and everything down below. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And we'll catch you in the next one. Like always, guys, God bless.